ladies and gentlemen welcome to the channel chemistry tutorial 360 today i am going to present ppu the lewis dose structure for sulfur dioxide i hope believe and expect that if you have confusion about the lewis structure of sulfur dioxide then your confu confusion will go forever so let's get started to find to find the Lewis dose structure for uh, sulfur dioxide at first we have to find out the valency electron of sulfur and oxygen right okay to find out the valency electron of sulfur at first we have to write the electronic configuration of sulfur so this is the electronic configuration of sulfur right sulfur the atomic number of sulfur is 16 now we know that valency electrons is the electrons of the outermost cell so in so from the electronic configuration of sulfur uh, look at the highest value for principal quantum number here the principal highest value of principal quantum number is 3 for n equal to 3 we have 2 plus 4 2 plus 4 that is 6 that is sulfur has totally 6 valency electron right we have another way to find out the valency electron that is from the group number look at here the group number tells us the number of valency electrons for the element for look at here sulfur is element of group 6a that's why uh, the valency electron of sulfur is 6 or sulfur is element of 16 if you delete the first digit then you will get the valency electron so the valency electron of sulfur is 6 right now we'll find out the valency electron of oxygen look at here the atomic number of oxygen is 8 so if you do the electronic configuration of oxygen then you will get this arrangement right so here the highest value of n equal to 2 so oxygen we and in the outermost cell oxygen have 2 plus 4 that is 6 valency electron right okay on the other hand oxygen is a is a is an element of group 6a or 16 so that's why oxygen will have valency electron 6 right 6 so now in the second step we'll total will count the total number of valence electron in sulfur dioxide right in sulfur dioxide we have one sulfur atom that is every sulfur atom has six valence electron and we have two oxygen so one oxygen has six valence electron and two oxygen will have 12 valence electron right so in total sulfur dioxide will have 12 plus 6 that is 18 valency electron right in the third step what I'll I do I will find the central atom in sulfur dioxide look at here central atom is that kind of atom that has only one atom or that has uh, that has uh, that has lower electronegativity here the here sulfur is the central atom because the electronegativity of sulfur is lower than oxygen so sulfur is the central atom so in the fourth step what i'll do i will connect central atom with outer atom here oxygen is outer atom right okay here one single dot means two valency electron right so look at here in sulfur dioxide molecule in sulfur dioxide molecule totally we have 80 valency electron and for this structure we have used two valency electron plus a four so 18 minus four that is we are getting here so we have uh, 14 valency electron left right so now we'll use this 14 valency electron to satisfy 
the octet for outer atom first then central atom right so we know that oxygen have two valence electron here so we can put another two here another two here another two and for this oxygen we can put here two 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 look at here this oxygen has two 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 so eight valence electrons so uh, it has octet and for this oxygen it has octet so we have used here two plus two plus two six eight then 10 12 right so among 14 valence electron we have used 12 so we have two left we have two valence electron left and this valence electron will come to the center atom look at here we need to satisfy uh, octet rule for for every atom here oxygen is satisfied for octet rule and this oxygen is also satisfied or, or for octet rule but this sulfur has two two to six valence electron so this sulfur is not satisfied for it is not satisfied uh, to fulfill it octet so what i can do i can satisfy it, this sulfur by using the lone pair from oxygen so if i take uh, this pair of uh, lone pair then I have to add here double bond right I am just writing here so this is structure 1 now this sulfur has 2 4 6 8 now I can take this uh, this lone pair to make it here a double bond right so look at here okay so now now I can mark it as a beat structure right so in this structure sulfur also have octet right now we have to now this is the probable Lewis dose structure for sulfur dioxide but we need to calculate the formal charge for getting the best Lewis structure look at here formal charge is equal to valence electron minus dot minus lines so for this uh, structure look at a uh, for this oxygen we have to take valence electron 6 minus dot attached to oxygen is 2 4 6 minus lines attached to this oxygen is 1 so basically we are getting minus 1 so the formal charge of this oxygen is minus 1 now if you apply this formula for sulfur then what then you will get this look at here the valence electron of sulfur is 6 the dot attached to sulfur is 2 minus line attached to sulfur is 3 1 2 3 so basically you are getting here 6 minus 5 that is plus 1 so the formal charge for this sulfur is plus 1 now apply the formal charge formula for this oxygen so the valence electron of oxygen is 6 then the dot attached to oxygen is 4 minus line attached to this oxygen is minus 2 so basically the formal charge of oxygen is 0 right look at here for this structure if you find the formal charge for this oxygen then you will get zero because look at here this oxygen and this oxygen is very similar so the formal charge of this sulfur will be plus one and the formal charge will be oxygen like this minus one look at here to find out find out the base lewis structure we have to try to uh, try to give formal charge 0 
for every atom. But from these two structures, it is not possible to give formal charge 0 for every atom, right? So, we can draw another uh, Lewis structure from this, from this uh, thing, right? So, look at here. Okay, let me uh, delete this at first so that we can easily understand this. So, I can draw, I can draw another Lewis structure from here. So, look at here. If I take uh, this lone pair to make it uh, double bond for octet, look at here. Then, look at here. If I take this lone pair to make it double bond here, then we'll get this structure, right? This structure. Look at here. In this structure, sulfur has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 electrons in its valence shell. Now, look at this thing. In the electronic configuration of sulfur, look at look at look in the third shell of of sulfur atom, we have empty d orbital, right? So sulfur can use this d orbital. That is, sulfur can break octet rule, right? Sulfur can take uh, more than eight electron in its valence shell. Right, so now come to this point. Now we have to apply formal charge formula for each atom of this of this uh, Lewis structure. Right, look at here for this oxygen, the valence electron for this oxygen is six minus the dot attached to this oxygen is four minus the line attached to this oxygen is 2. So basically we are getting 6 minus 6 that is 0. Now we have to find out the valency, uh, the formal charge for this sulfur. So this uh, the 6, the valency electrons of this sulfur is 6 minus dots attached to this sulfur is 2 minus line attached to this sulfur is 4. So basically we are getting zero formal charge and for this oxygen and this oxygen is similar so the formal charge of, of this oxygen will be zero look at here among these three structure this structure have formal charge zero uh, for all atoms so we know that base Lewis structure uh, has uh, base Lewis structure is that kind of structure that has formal charge zero for for maximum number of atoms. So in this case, uh, this is the best Lewis structure, right? So look at here, sulfur dot. So this is the best Lewis structure, right? I have a special blog post. You will get that blog post in the description box of this video right look at here i can write uh, resonance structure from this structure right right for resonance structure we can use this type of simple so look at here this oxygen is more electronegative than sulfur so electron will come here this is negative and this is positive right okay so i can write another structure This is negative, this is positive, 
right so the actual structure uh, of sulfur dioxide is the hybrid resonance structure of this three structure right so i hope believe and expect that you have understood what i want to say to you if you don't understand my piece then please read the blog post that i have given in the description box of this video so thank you for being this video be well